be going over a real life use of that uh, transposer on high velocity mode uh, I did a short video on that uh, yesterday and I was thinking I'd like to go over uh, a more obvious uh, application for that one so I'm thinking flute and let's start with the instrument itself we have it here i'm now uh, running the seaboard preset a thing that i always use when i'm not using the breath control and the thing the idea here is to use the swam instruments for guitarists that don't want to use uh, either uh, sustain pedal or expression pedal or anything I've connected the, my sustain pedal just for to show you how uh, similar the effect will be once we use the transposer alternative instead so you can see on this little button that turns green when I press my pedal that's the overblow <laughs> Overblowing the flute would be like these are the second and third harmonics of uh, the flute in the harmonic series. And overblowing is practically going to the second uh, harmonic, and that's one octave above uh, your starting note. Yeah, so. The idea now is to be emulating uh, the same effect of going up an octave for the, um, the simulated overblowing. And I was thinking about that uh, when I did uh, the experiments yesterday with, uh, with the keyboard. So here I have the transposer and I'll put it on one octave up you hear it now it's always transposing to this higher octave and this is not what we're looking for we want it to be at a at our disposal i want it to be able i want to be able to control when it, it goes to the higher octave so i'll put it on high velocity and I'll put it on all the way up to 127. That's the highest uh, value I can assign to it. So it's only going to go to playing the uh, higher octave on the highest velocities I can play. One more thing that is of interest here is this curve. For me to use the whole dynamic range, if I put the curve down to zero or starting point or as far to the left as it can go, I'll get the full dynamic range. It's going to play hard when I play hard and it's going to play really soft when I play soft. So You heard it overblow there. So that was almost too much for me. So I'll pull back on the gain here for, because I want to be able to play kind of carelessly without always overblowing i want to be able to control it so it's only gonna it's only gonna overblow on my 
uh, we shall command. You hear, um, I can play fairly hard. You hear the picking and uh, this mic as well, so. It's, it kind of depends on how fast you pick as well, it's, since it's velocity and not only gain. But... This is the perfect example for me, I think, the perfect example to exemplify how I, I would use the transposer on the high velocity uh, mode. Uh, if I were to do a my best Dolphin impression, I would, I would like to have those overblows for those jagged intervals, or those high intervals, big interval jumps. Uh, and be able to go to this soft lyrical playing as well, without having to necessarily be cautious of uh, striking too hard and, and getting those blows where I don't want them. So now I have the full dynam dynamic range and only on the absolute top I have the uh, I have the, the notes going over to the, to the next uh, octave. Pulling back on the gain this much makes it harder for me as well to realize those octave jumps that I'm looking for. So, since I've pulled back fully on the curve, which is uh, really a MIDI compressor. I'm using the transposer on uh, one octave up to simulate the first uh, harmonic of that the flute double blowing would be going for. So, in the case of playing a flute, you would go for a velocity increase anyway. So that's exactly why I'm doing this, putting it on 127, because you fairly hear, hear those overblown notes in any other context than uh, where it would be a kind of high, high velocity uh, sound anyway. So it would be short or... It, at least it would be a hard attack on it, so a high transient or... So that's... The lesson for today, I think, uh, playing flute on high velocity, one octave up, and you've got yourself the possi possibility of overblowing without using any external uh, pedals or breath controllers or anything.